Well, I've just given a presentation to the World DAB Conference about digital radio in the UK and how well we're doing. So I covered all the main areas where I think the UK is well ahead of many other countries. So for example, in coverage, we've done a fantastic job. We're rolling out not just national coverage for digital radio, but also local coverage for digital radio. And by this time next year, we'll have coverage for digital radio that's effectively equivalent to FM. You can listen to all the national stations, but also you can listen to uh, your local stations on digital radio in pretty much all of the countries. So that's really, really important. I think it's also important to say that we're doing trials to help small local radio stations that might not be able to afford to get onto the regional multiplexes, the opportunity to get onto digital. And I'm really proud of that because that's a real innovation that we've pioneered in the UK. Uh, in terms of content, uh, you know, one of the great gifts that digital radio gives the radio listener is a massively increased choice of radio stations. So we have many national digital radio stations that wouldn't exist if we just had FM. Some of them are now, you know, have listing figures in the millions, like Six Music. Some of the supplementary stations, if you like, like Radio 4 Extra, also have a huge amount of extra listeners. So all that's fantastic. And we're just about to launch our second national multiplex, which will provide a whole range of new national stations. So in terms of content, I think we're really pioneering as well. Uh, in terms of the consumer, obviously consumers will buy digital radios, I think, more and more when they see that the uh, content is great, but also the coverage is as good as FM. There's always been some reluctance around the edges about the cost of a digital radio or uh, allegedly that it uses more power. That's all gone away, really. Digital radios are just as cheap as FM. They're just as efficient as FM. And as a consequence, we've seen digital radio listening continue to increase in approaching the 50% mark. Uh, and then I think as well, it's really important that we get um, the coverage in cars. So uh, we have really pushed ahead on that, working with car manufacturers. Now we have three quarters of all new cars uh, with digital radio fitted as standard. That's a huge increase from five years ago when virtually no new cars had digital radio fitted as standard. And obviously it's becoming cheaper and cheaper to convert your existing car to digital radio as well. So on all the sort of four main criteria that I use to show how well we're doing on digital radio, we're doing great. We've got great coverage, great content, uh, good for consumers. We've also pioneered the digital tick, which is going to reassure consumers the radio they buy is fit for purpose. And of course, cars, 